And it's amazing. It shows the, the intensity of this match, but also the condition of all these athletes that can come out of this DDT fest, like you said, JR. Just being able to kick out, stay alive, whatever it takes. The look on Tully Blanchard's face here in the deep water is very, very uh, revealing. He is concerned, and he has a right to be. Chuck Taylor intercepting. And now, oh, look at this. Uh -oh. Looking for strong zero, our best friends. Oh, they had it. Trent. That's it. Got him hooked up. That is it. One, two, no. Flying headbutt by Wheeler interrupted the count, or it would have been a sure three count without a doubt. Yeah, second time within the last three to four minutes that Wheeler had saved his team. Barely, both times. Is it a sign of desperation that FTR started going to the top to look at high-risk maneuvers to comprise their, their closing offense? JR, I think, I think you're exactly right. But right now, oh, brain buster out on the outside. What a splat, a sickening splat. And the low drop kick by Trent. Wheeler's outside, he's in the cheap, no, he's in the good seat. <laughs> Trent pursuing Cash Wheeler to the outside. And you see Kip saving a Penelope, for not even paying attention to this matchup. Well, they're big into video games, we know that. It and Trent, oh! oh! Good God! They were big into video games tonight. Trent going head first through that arcade cabinet. That was the first match I ever call where an arcade cabinet came into play. Mark that down. Well, they're big video gamers and, and but, but now FTR have a chance to retain. Go get him. Kip, Kip instructed Penelope to go. Well, right now, FTR has a chance to retain the titles via count. Uh, no, they. They're not going to see it that way. Absolutely do not. Wow, you're right. Returning they Trent to the ring. Had a chance to win via count out. Knox with a rather deliberate count out. Cadence. And I'm plotting for it. Yeah, let him win in the ring. I agree. On, well, they destroyed that oh, arcade, Trent. didn't they? Oh, tr Trent's hurt, man. And oh. this is this is coming just weeks after that brutal parking lot match that we alluded to earlier, Jr. Yeah, we all think that all four of those great men in that parking lot brawl were are healthy today. We're kidding ourselves. Looking for Goodnight Express, but no. Trent able to reverse plants Dax Harwood with a DDT. FTR taken out of their game once again by the, the challengers. As we said, they've won seven of their last nine. They come in here with momentum and confidence. And Chuck Taylor just stalking Dax Harwood. Harwood appeared to be the weak link. Trent nearly had him beat twice. Chuck looking to take advantage of it. Boy, Dax. Dax is just, just like, oh, what the hell? He was, what is he doing with the belt in the ring? Cash had the, the, the belt and he's trying to deck Chuck with it, but Chuck Taylor has Harwood. No, Harwood escapes out the back waist lock. Great standing and, switch. Oh! Boy, there went the belt. And the referee didn't see it. No, he was down on all fours. Come on! Man, what a shot. The winners of this match. And still. AEW World Tag Team Champions, F-T-R. Jerry, Jerry, you talked about Tully Blanchard. That was typical Tully Blanchard act action right there, using the belt when the referee was down to win the match. Tully needed a big play call deep in the game here. His team was on the ropes, figuratively and literally. Go boom! Wow. You hear the crack. You hear the crack of that heavy belt around the skull. And FTR, the top tag team here in AEW, the top tag team in the world. But thus far, they have not been able to defend those titles without some sort of uh, interference or interplay by Tully Blanchard. But the bottom line, as someone once said, more often than not, there's the proof of the old pudding. There's still the chance.